Hello there, it's Construction Gamer again with this slightly unusual episode. I've already released a Transport Fever UK mod showcase this afternoon, but there were some mods that got released over the weekend that I wanted to feature, but I just didn't have time to record any footage, so I'm making up for that now with this bus special. Just three buses that, uh, well this one I think was actually released either yesterday or today. This is another pack by DV64MLO, this time it's a more older pack, this is the man uh, SL192 and this is a West, West Midlands pack available from about 1960 so again we've got some really early early-ish buses well not early buses but early-ish buses from the 1960s in the West Midlands flavour I'm, I'm guessing he's from a West Midlands region with all the West Midlands reskins that he's done recently especially particularly of the Mercedes-Benz Citaro C2 but there again this is just an earlier version of that on, I think this is a vanilla bus isn't it so it's just a reskin of this so you don't have to subscribe to anything to get that to work so yeah that's that's the first one but the next two are a little bit special I think because I think a lot of people do quite like these these buses there are a couple of classics so we're gonna look where are we going we're gonna stick with an earlyish bus this time it's the Leyland Olympian available in about 1984 according to Steam uh, and it's just an excellent model. This is by CW315, who's well known for all, for all of his great train mods that he does, but he's turned his hand to some bus, well, a bus, well, a couple of buses, actually. But I'll explain a bit more about that in a minute, but just want to take the time to appreciate this. I think there are a well-thought-of bus within kind of bus enthusiasts throughout Great Britain. And, uh, yeah, it's just a really really good model really well done I think possibly might be right in saying it's got custom sounds it definitely does sound like a Leyland Olympian that we're familiar with that low burble that the large diesel engine had on these things almost a bit like a boat uh, sort of low burble that it makes so yeah that's that's one year 1984 so again quite early for some UK buses and then the next one we're going a bit further forward into more recent times 19, 1997 but they're still in use to this day so we're looking at the Alexander ALX 400 a good another double deck bus and this is this time it the model itself has been done by Jack TM and CW has done the sounds and the scripts and the textures for these currently there are only about three or four skins available but people I know people are working on them as we speak so some might even come out in the next few days this is the the more modern Manchester um, first livery and it just looks rather excellent I think you'll agree uh, and again another bus that I think is a popular one among bus enthusiasts in Britain and this is the magic bus again it's another Manchester based texture for this another Manchester livery I think CW is from that region so he's been concentrating on the Manchester liveries and it is just excellent all around detail inside and everything this is represents one of the first it's not the first but one of the first series of low floor buses i think the plaxton pointer maybe an opster opter delta was before that maybe but yeah this is definitely an early-ish modern i think it's the first of the decent modern buses that we come to know and that yeah like i said they're still in service to this day so there are the three buses that i wanted to look at we will take a look at them in a depot so we've got passenger so if we go down so we've got the SL9192 Birmingham City Coventry Transport uh, West Midlands Passenger Transport Executive and a Warsaw Corporation uh, with the vanilla capacity 16 top speed of 50 192 horsepower if we go to the Leyland Olympian it's got a capacity of 20 which I think is reasonable I think it's a good balance for within the game itself 70 miles per hour top speed uh, 179 horsepower so yeah I do I am yeah I do think 20 about 20 is is about right for that um, keeps the costs of running it down 116 thousand pound a year which isn't too bad if we look at the man I mean the man's quite a lot smaller and quite a lot older as well maybe if we look at something more like the the street car which has 26 that's 133 so I think it's a good balance for in the game itself and you can see there the three liveries but again I think people are working on ones as we speak if we go up to the top the Alexander ALX 400 70 miles per hour top speed again 313 horsepower this one 
23 capacity, so because it is slightly longer and more modern, so you can get more seats in. But we've got a blank white one there, which I'm guessing that one's available from 1997, and the other liveries become available for at the correct time periods, I'm guessing. And you've got a stagecoach Manchester, the Magic Bus, and the first great Manchester. So there we are. I've got three buses that I just thought were worthy of mentioning, but I just didn't get time over the weekend to record the episode. So there we are. I will leave you with the Alexander ALX 400 because I think that looks particularly nice. And I'm going to say until next time, bye bye.